Okay guys, it is walkthrough time. Time to show you the XTD XL with the Armageddon package. This is the best of the best of what we currently have. The XTD XL is roughly two feet longer than the standard XTD and that uh, space is given to you in the main cabin. So that gives you room for an extra bunk or bench or whatever you want to build into the main cabin. And the Armageddon package is available in the XTD or the XTD XL. Both have the same equipment. And uh, we're going to walk you through what that is. So we're going to kind of start at the front and move our way back. Uh, up front, you'll notice we got two four gallon roto packs. So eight gallons of fuel for you to carry on board. In the tongue box, we'll open up the back side of the tongue box. The Armageddon package has a built in ARB or compressor. You'll see up here. Flip your switch on, then you hook up whatever air tool. In this case, they come with a uh, digital uh, air gauge so you can inflate or deflate the tires on the trailer or on your tow vehicle. Uh, in the back of the tongue box here, we also have our tie down straps and stuff for our awning and you'll see the back of the fridge there. We'll go around to the other side. As with the Expedition package, the Armageddon package still has the same fridge, the CFX 375 dual zone. This is an upgrade here. We're doing this on everything now that has a fridge in the tongue box. That way it's just one hand to open the fridge. If you've watched my past videos, you've had to watch me put the phone down to open the fridge. Dual zone CFX3 75 liter. And that's running off a 12 volt plug in the tongue box. Up top, we've got our 200 watt solar panel. And that panel is on hydraulic tilts. We remove these pins here. Over to the other side. Really handy if you're parked in a spot and the sun ends up being behind you and you need to still grab some sun in the late evening or whatever. Pop those pins and just fold that panel up. So that's 200 watts up top. Got our Max Air Max fan. And we've got our two heavy duty crossbars. See, I've got a 180 degree awning mounted to the other side and the Armageddon also comes with the shower awning. So this is a shower uh, privacy enclosure. Unzip this and this whole thing will drop down and make a room right here. Your shower head is located in this box. It'll come up and hang on this hook right here and then you can take a hot shower. We've got a propane bottle on this side. We've also got on the other side, additional propane bottle. Again, that's standard with the Armageddon. It comes with two propane bottles, two propane mounts. You see our 180 degree awning up there. At the back, we've got our spare tire on a Wilco off-road swing arm. And that just fits into the rear hitch receiver. It can be removed if you want it removed. Let's take a look inside. Okay. So in the main cabin, like I said, you've got an extra roughly two feet. It's just under two feet of extra room inside here. So if you lay this mattress out all the way, it's going to come to right about here. So if you've got dogs or something like that, you can just leave this space open like this customer's chosen to do. So you'll just have some extra floor space. So the dogs can uh, lay there. Or you can put your shoes in there or whatever. Um, the other option that we offer is to actually build in a bench or a bunk back along the back wall back there in that extra space with some built-in storage into it. So the lid would just fold up and you'd have storage inside. That would allow your mattress to still lay out here all the time and you'd have that extra bunk or that extra bench. Uh, in the back of this one, customer opted for the Zero Breeze air conditioner. So there's a Zero Breeze AC unit right there. Got a remote control on the wall right here. One large storage cabinet up top and then two storage cabinets up front. These are the same as always on hydraulic props with the push button latch. And same doors, same windows, Arctic Turn, everything. Arctic Turn doors with the dual uh, uh, two piece door with the screen. So you've got your bug screen on the outside and your security mesh on the inside. And let's take a look. The other special feature of the Armageddon package, we mount this Rome gearbox to the side like this. Uh, and this is just for extra camping gear. Um, you can do whatever you want with this. So 
in this particular case, I've got my fire kit. Uh, I've got a multi-tool up there, just a variety of multi-tools. So you can mount whatever you want to this molly panel. We can also swap out this molly panel for a lid organizer that has a bunch of pockets on it. And you've also got room inside here. You could probably put some camp chairs and stuff. And that just closes up. And these are locking. If you wanted to run a padlock through these latches. The other thing you'll notice, the Armageddon package comes with a folding 200 watt auxiliary solar panel. So I don't have this one plugged in just yet because I want to see what it boosts the solar to once we plug it in. So the cord's just sitting there. But this folds up really nicely and actually just stows along the inside edge of the tongue box. So it's out of your way. Uh, these tires that we have on here, <clears throat> given that it is the Armageddon package, we had to beef up the tires. So this one, we're running 33 inch Mickey Thompson's. These are the Baja EXP, uh, LT rated. So let's go and open the spare tire. Pull our pin, swing the tire out. You'll notice on the back of the tire, this is a front runner tailgate table. Pop that down, and it has a cutting board, slides out. Rear door open. And we've got the standard uh, galley, same as the Expedition. Uh, the Armageddon has the same galley set up as the Expedition. Now the difference between uh, the, well, it's not really noticeable in the galley, but the Armageddon has an extra 100 amp hour lithium battery standard. So um, it's got twin 100 amp hour lithiums and they are Xbeon 360 which in my opinion is the best lithium battery on the market and all the hardware back inside the utility space is all Xbeon 360 so that's the DC to DC charger the solar charge controller uh, everything is Xbeon 360 now with lithium you do have to be concerned about cold weather they won't operate in cold weather so each battery is wrapped in a warming jacket so if it's gonna be, if we're gonna be camping around uh, 32 degrees, we'll just flip that on. That's the battery warmer. It's on a thermostat. You'll just leave that on for your cold weather camping trip and that'll keep your batteries warm. Each one is wrapped in insulation in its own heating jacket. Inside here, we've got our fresh water pump. Uh, we've got interior lights and we've got our exterior porch lights. The exterior porch lights are rigid scene lights. And let's take a look at what our solar is doing because our battery was down to, it was at 92 when I started this video. 94 right now, we're getting 5 amps, 5.8 amps. So, and that's, it was charging at 10, but because it's getting closer to full, I think it's slowing down the charge. Let's take this, this is our cord from our auxiliary panel. And we'll just plug that in the right way around. Right there. And see what our panels are doing now. So there we just boosted it to 13.1 amps. And those are actually not even pointed at the sun. They're kind of like parallel. The sun's kind of right above me right here. So oh, and I turned that panel away from the sun too. Let's point that back down and see what it does. amps of solar so according to this we've only got 54 minutes until the battery is 52 I bet that's gonna go down pretty quick to about 40 minutes to a full charge uh, over here same as the expedition package we have our sink with our drop-in cutting board and that cutting board you know or that sink insert drops on here back in here we've got our cutting board actual cutting board storage drawer down below, large storage drawer in the center, and our water heater under here. So if you've got this board out, you've got a lot of prep space, and if you don't need to use your sink, and you drop that back in there, fold your faucet out of the way, you've actually got a ton of prep space. 
Um, let's see, the other change with the Armageddon specifically is the frame is reinforced and the axles are beefed up. So these are running 5,200 pound axles. So you actually get around 2,000 pounds of payload. So you can throw about 2,000 pounds of crap inside this trailer. So what you'll do is when you're getting ready to go where you're going, you'll just lay or fold your mattress back just start stacking all your camping gear inside here in these two anchor tracks you can strap your gear down so it doesn't slide around once you go to bed pop these pins out just throw them in there then you can lay your mattress back out uh, it's got the standard propex um, propane furnace and this one has the armageddon has a 2000 watt inverter we were actually running a industrial heat gun off of it you can turn that on just press that. Okay, there are inverters on. Now we can fire up our air conditioner. Air conditioner is running off the inverter. And there are air conditioners on. That'll start cooling us down. Uh, one other change that we've made, uh, we've got these lights that are in the galley and in the main cabin. These are touch. They're just touch, turns to blue, touch again for off. And on the white setting, just press and hold, and it's dimmable. Each one of them is dimmable. Blue for the mood lighting in the evening. Uh, standard max fan, reversible 10 speed. Take a quick look underneath. Nice and clean underneath, we got our four leveling jacks. And that does it for the XT XL with the Armageddon package. If you got any questions, go to the website, check out the information on there, but you can also give us a call uh, or uh, send me an email, Jordan or sales at valiantexp.com. And uh, thanks for watching.